Also on the agenda today, uh, Home Secretary, this uh, extremism disruption order. Um, it, it's already illegal to incite violence in this country. What difference will it make? Well, I think it will make a real difference. We need to deal with the extremists who are trying to divide us. They're seeking to promote hatred and intolerance, seeking to undermine the very values that make us the country we are, that make us the great country to live in, those pluralistic values that we have in our society. And our values of democracy, uh, rule of law and order, um, tolerance of different faiths. You know, it's great to live in a country where people have a right to live how they choose to live, but that brings with it a responsibility to accept others rights to, to live how they choose to live. And what we're talking about in the counter-extremism strategy has a, a new bill, a new piece of legislation, which will introduce new orders um, to ban uh, extremists, extremist groups, um, uh, will bring in closure orders enabling us to deal with premises where there is this regular promotion of these extremist values. And remember, these ex this extremism can lead to radicalisation of, of young people, can lead to the poisoning of people's minds, such that that can then, of course, lead to violence. And, and that could possibly go as far as, as closing mosques, people's uh, place of worship. Well, we need to obviously have a very carefully drafted legislation in relation to the closure orders. But I think what we're talking about is where, where premises are being used regularly, uh, consistently, for promoting extremist values, for trying to undermine our society, undermine the values that we share here in the United Kingdom, then it is important that we're able to take action on those premises. But the bill will be part of a wider strategy. It will include within it, for example, a programme in helping isolated communities. Uh, so there will be other parts of this strategy too. And also a very positive promotion of our British values. I think many people feel that we, you know, we share great values in this country, but we often don't talk about it enough. We don't promote those values enough. And I think it's important that we do. Very quickly, Home Secretary, any contradiction between the, the notion of for standing up for free speech, as you say, and, and promoting the values that you're suggesting? No, there isn't. Free speech is one of those values that underlies our society as well. It's one of the important values that we share and that we want to protect. Um, what we're talking about here is not about undermining free speech. It's about those people who are preaching, uh, who are promoting hatred and intolerance, who are seeking to divide us as a society and who are seeking to undermine values like the freedom of speech and undermine our democracy and our law and order.